welcome in to episode six of season four of Lancer Central. TJ Winger filling in for Sam Hovan today. And well, it's that time of the year. Yes, basketball is finally upon us, but there's gonna be plenty of talk about the basketball teams throughout this episode of Lancer Central. So let's start with getting you caught up with the closing of fall sports. Starting with the men's tennis team, I got to find more room for all these trophies to bring it back to Farmville's at the Liberty Flames Invitational. Amadeo Blasco and Guillerme Sergio brought home the Devils title for the Lancers. From the courts to the pitch, a number of regular season accolades came streaming in. First for men's soccer, sophomore center back Jonas Kalster was named Big South second team as well as the all-academic team. The women's team saw Carrie Weaver named Big South Scholar Athlete of the Year. In addition to Taylor Alvey selected the first team, and it was Weaver as well as midfielder Madison Lockamy named the second team, with Kennedy Colbreth and keeper Madison Van Dyke corralling honorable mentions. Lastly for fall sports, field hockey had six different players gather accolades, headlined by keeper Katie Wyman named MAC Defensive Player of the Year and Camilla Duarte as Freshman of the Year. The second straight season, Longwood has come away with that award. Wyman with Luna Lopez were selected the first team all MAC as well as Charlotte Vilm, Sophia Losher, Carly Harwood, and Duarte being named the second team. But yes, okay, yes, fine, we can talk about basketball. And what an open it's been to the year for both sides. Men's basketball sitting at 4-1, cruised through a stretch playing three games in four days with wins against Maryland Eastern Shore, St. Francis of Brooklyn, and Randolph College. Not to mention, the women's basketball team picking up back-to-back -back wins against Division I opponents for the first time since December of 2016. Those wins coming against UNC Wilmington and Brown University. All told, the two teams had five home games spanning from Tuesday, November 12th through Saturday the 16th and combined to make it a 5-0 and week from Jerome Kersey Court. Rundown complete. Always check longwoodlancers.com for up-to-the-minute scores, stats, and stories. Well, we promised you a lot of basketball, and we'll jump right into the thick of things. But first, I want to welcome Rob Galloway to the program. Happy to be here. Awesome. Well, Rob, now we're going to talk about some newcomers for both the women's as well as the men's team, for, starting with uh, the women's side. Uh, three players that come to mind, Kyla McMakin, Tradesia Smith, as well as Ann Hamilton Leroy. Of those three, which one do you think has had the biggest immediate impact? I, my money's on Macon. 17 points in her collegiate debut against James Madison University ended up falling to the Bulldogs in that one. But then back-to-back double-digit performances against UNC Wilmington and Brown University. So it's evident the impact that she's had offensively for this Lancer team. And she's already garnered so much trust from her coaching staff and her teammates, which is not something you see amongst freshmen. Uh, and also something she's really good at is controlling the pace of the game. She has no issue bringing it up the floor. Uh, and that's also something we see with freshmen is they, they tend to look slow out on the floor, but mm -hmm. she seems to be keeping up with the rest of the league just Absolutely. fine. And adding on to that point, she is no doubt one of the most up-and-coming rising stars the Big South Conference has to offer. She's averaging 13.3 points a game. She's already a stud. Just imagine where she's at when she's a freshman. To your point about the trust from the coaching staff, against Brown, she opens the game 0-7 at half. Coach Dillard says, don't worry about it. I'm not worried about the shots falling. You shouldn't be either. Ends up with double digits, as you mentioned. But I do have to disagree with you. Tradesia Smith's my pick, Day Day, as they call her. She's done marvels. She's done wonders orchestrating this offense that last year led the Big South Conference in turnovers per game. That number way down. She's also averaging double digits at 10 points a game. I just think her presence running an offense that only has one returner to the starting lineup it speaks for itself. Well, I give it to you. She does have a very calming presence, and she's, she's not very loud. She's kind of reserved, but she lets her actions speak volumes, and they do. And she does a great job of making sure that this offense is structured at all points of the game. And now for the men's basketball side. Look, Christian Wilson's been great. Deshaun Wade has shown flashes, as well as Leslie and Carrie Wum, who has got to be my pick. Maybe I'm just partial to the energy he brings to the court, but in Carrie Wum, it's just an absolute stud. I mean, when he steps onto the court, everybody else plays with more energy. Will at Hall this past week rises to its feet. You see, you'll see some of his dunks and his flash later on in Lancer Central, but 6.4 points, 5.4 rebounds a contest. So not only is the energy, but it gives you production too. Well, I got to argue, it's Christian Wilson who also brings that added energy on the defensive end and the offensive end. Does a great job. Four out of the first five games, he's scoring double digits to bring his average up above 10 points per game. And his rebounding as well has been key to this Longwood offense. He grabs the defensive rebound, has great passing skills for a big man and is able to sure. immediately start this run-and-gun offense that the Lancers love so much. Well, it's a safe pick for you. Team best 11.4 <laughs> points. You can never go wrong with a leading score, but to that point, shooting at a very efficient clip. Less, just under 50% from the field and 37.5% from three. He's kind of that do-everything stretch forward that fits well for modern basketball. But I think one thing we can agree on is with all these newcomers, these both sides have a lot of potential moving forward. Yeah, a lot of potential, and you immediately ask, what's the ceiling? How good can these teams get? And uh, and during some road trips later on in the season, and then entering into conference play, these teams are going to be exciting to watch, to say the least. Well, now we get another first-hand look at some of these players as we move into the Lancer Central Top 6. And in at number six to kick things off, we have a defensive gem from Akilah Smith using every inch of that never-ending wingspan, snags the inbounds pass, and draws the foul. 
Someone who's had an immediate impact for this Longwood team into her sophomore year. On to play number five, and while this might look like any old three-point shot from Jay Sean Smith, it is not. His 100th in his blue and white tenure also put him up to 800 career points. And at number four, Shibuti Phillips showing off the insane range. He can hit it from anywhere on the court, way outside. Phillips gets it to go. Finishes with 23. Lancers get the win. NBA range there to move that three-point line back far enough. On to play number three. Now you see Phillips orchestrating the offense. Kicks it over to Christian Wilson for three. Indeed, and the foul. How about that for the sophomore from Queens? And in at number two, we got Phillips running the pick and roll with Wilson. The sweet feed to carry him and finishes with the thunderous slam. The freshman, remember his name. He's going to be making a lot more plays like that. Big energetic play. Also one here from another freshman. This one from Kyla McMakin. The block to seal the game and give Longwood its first win on the year. And that'll do it for this episode of Lancer Central. For my broadcast partner, Rob Galloway, and our entire Lancer Central production crew, my name's TJ Wengert. Until next time, we are signing off.